Yo, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this video, we're going to go over the best network settings that reduce your buffer blow, improve your hit registration, lower your ping, and lower your jitter. So we're going to go over all the way from stuff within your windows, like your network adapter, driver, your network adapter, properties, and some of these network settings within your windows, and then also some router stuff that helps a lot, and it's going to be the majority of where your performance differences come from in terms of network latency. So let's get right into checking our before and then later we're going to do an after test to show the differences between unoptimized and optimized after this video so let's get started so i'm going to leave two links in the description one to cloudping.info which is just a ping test that pings all these different services from different servers and it shows you the ping to different regions in the world so that and then the second one is going to be buffer bloat test which shows you internet speed and your buffer bloat which is just network latency under load that's what buffer blow is it's basically just latency when the router starts doing stuff and you want that obviously as low as possible if there's extra buffer blow whenever your router is doing stuff you're gonna get issues in game but let's get started with the http ping test so i'm gonna click http ping it's gonna start pinging all of these different servers and for guys that play fortnite you're gonna look for the one in dallas and that's gonna be all the way around ibm which is gonna be right here so as you guys can see i'm getting around 30 ping which is basically what i get in game in Fortnite. Now, there's other servers like San Antonio and all that. I'm not gonna get into all that, but the main server is Dallas, so you're gonna look at that. And as you guys can see, I'm in mean, around 29 MS, which is also what I get in game, so that's kind of accurate. And I'm gonna go to the buffer bloat test, and this is gonna be pretty bad for a lot of you and pretty bad for me, just because I have everything set to default to show you guys the crazy difference between doing this video and not doing it. So let's do this test, and let me just skip over to whatever it's done. As you guys can see, I'm getting a buffer bloat grade with a C, which is pretty bad. You at least want an A on this or an A plus. If you're not getting that, then your router is just kind of bad. So the reason why I'm getting a C is because my router is set to complete default. I do have a really good router. I just need to show you guys what I do in that router in order to get an A on this test. As you guys can see, basically our baseline. And if you look down here, we can see our jitter, which on active, which is download. Whenever we're downloading stuff, our jitter maxes out to 30 ms, which is pretty high. And then whenever we upload stuff aka editing in game or pressing key binds or just doing anything that requires uploading packets we're getting a jitter of 75 ms which is complete garbage so let's get started with optimizing everything so we can close out at both of these just remember what score you got so you can compare it with at the end so you go to snappy driver installer origin and we're going to use this tool to update our network or wi-fi drivers so if you are on wi-fi a lot of this video is not going to be applicable except the router stuff and this step so just try to follow what you can otherwise the ethernet adapter settings you can't really copy that just because you are on wi-fi now if you are on wi-fi i recommend going to the link down below and buying a power line adapter or just buying a long cable and plugging your pc into your router being wired solves a lot of your connection issues the reason why wireless sucks is because it's unstable and whenever there's a lot of stuff blocking the signal you can get stuff like packet loss ping spike and just all these other problems that are just related with unstable internet so make sure to get unwired if you can't there's stuff like power line adapters or just take the l and go move your router or just stick with wi-fi it is what it is so we're gonna click on snappy driver installer origin version right click on this click extract files it's okay it's gonna make a folder you're gonna find that folder double click on it double click sdio underscore auto wait for this to pop up press accept wait for this second thing to pop up it's really important that you guys wait once this pops up so click download indexes only and just let that do its thing so as you guys can see these are all the drivers that can be updated on your pc now just a quick warning for everyone do not check any drivers that you don't need a lot of these drivers are pointless or they're going to cause issues so a lot of people for some reason whenever i show this tool they click select all and start downloading all the stuff for no reason don't do that just click and select none and when i scroll down you're going to find our intel ethernet controller or if you're on wi-fi you're going to find the Intel wireless adapter, or if you're on Realtek, you're going to find Realtek family controller or Realtek gaming controller. Just find something that regards with your network adapter that you are connected to. So for me, it's going to be Intel Ethernet controller I225-V. And once I do find that, I'm going to, I'm going to click on it, check it, and then I'm going to click install on the left. And so start downloading these files in order to update that specific Ethernet controller. Now, if you're on Wi-Fi, you would just do the same thing and then click install on the left. All right. So once it's done, it's going to tell you this 
installation completed, all you got to do from now is just close out of it. Now, we're going to go to device manager. So open up your start menu or your search bar, type device manager, and then you're going to open that up. You're going to expand network adapters, double click Intel Ethernet controller, or if you're on Realtek, you would click Realtek family controller. Double click on that. Power management, uncheck everything here. Go to advanced, ARP offload disable that enable pme disabled flow control disabled interrupt moderation disable both of these ipv4 checks them offload disabled large send offload both of these disable them and ns offload also disabled packet priority and vlan you're going to set this to packet priority enabled selective suspend disabled tcp and udp checks them offload both of these disable them then wait for link off and all these other wait con settings disable them these are just pointless and don't really do anything and then for Intel Ethernet controllers only. So if you're not on Intel, just skip this step. Open up your search bar, type reg, edit, open that up, and then you're gonna click on HK local machine system, expand that, and then you're gonna expand current control set just right here. And then you're gonna expand control, then you're gonna expand class. Now in class, you're gonna find one of these that ends in 972 in the first group of numbers. So as you can see, this one ends in 972 before the dash. So that's what you want to look for. Click on that, expand that, and then through all all these keys you're gonna click on them look at driver description and just match that name with whatever intel controller you have so this one's not it if i scroll down on this one as you can see driver description intel ethernet controller so this is going to be the key that we can find it in so i'm going to click t and as you see it we're looking for tx int delay double click on that type zero and then press ok that's what we're looking for in this page then you can just close out of that and then press ok open up your search bar type control panel open that up go to network and internet network and sharing center click on ethernet or if you're on wi-fi click on that properties uncheck everything except qos packet scheduler and internet protocol version 4 then click on internet protocol version 4 click properties advanced wins and then just uncheck enable lm host lookup and then net bios settings set that to disable net bios then press ok now dns servers don't really do anything for ping or latency or jitter it doesn't do anything so any of these videos that you're watching on youtube that tell you to change this just ignore them they're complete bs they're just trying to get views off of you so just set this to automatically just because 90 percent of the time your internet provider is already giving you a dns server that works best but if you do want to use a custom dns server just click use the following and type whatever you want but i'm not going to go over that in this video just because this does nothing to gaming ping and performance so I'll click on that press close press close again and then you're going to go to control panel again go to system and security windows defender firewall turn windows defender firewall on or off click on that and choose off for both of these now if you're on a laptop set this to on for both if you're on a desktop and you're keeping your pc at home 90 percent of the time you're gonna set this to off now if you're a security freak and you're watching this video and i know you're about to comment some crazy stuff just before you do that watch this real quickly look get off this youtube video this is not for you this is for guys that play games and they want lower ping better hit reg and lower jitter i don't care what type of complaint you have i don't care what type of oh it doesn't do anything it doesn't do anything dude if we don't use it we disable it that's how we do things around here so if you don't like that you could just get out of here i don't really make these videos for you we're gonna click okay on that after you've done that now again if you care about security just leave that enabled your router has a built-in firewall so the windows one doesn't really do anything it's just kind of more of an annoyance than a benefit anyways once you're done with that now i can close out of that now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your browser and then you're going to open up your search bar type cmd and then you're going to type ip config as a command and it's going to give you these properties default gateway is the one that we're looking at all you're going to do is you're going to click on this number and then you're going to copy this by typing Control c on your keyboard and it's going to copy it then make a new tab in your browser paste it into here and usually it's going to ask you for a username and password type admin and the password should be 90 percent of the time password if it's not just look at the back of your router back of your modem and check what the default gateway password is but anyways once you're in here if you're on a net duma r3 router all you're gonna do is gonna click on ping optimizer on the bottom left and then you click advanced you're gonna click ping optimizer mode set this to expert and then you're gonna pretty much click on once you've done that go back and then you click optimize my ping and what this is gonna do is gonna test your ping and then do optimizations in order to lower it we're gonna let it do its thing and i'm gonna show you guys the differences between a before and after and we'll go over that in a second so as you guys can see 
seat, it's lowered my pain by amount this much. So it's really nice. We've literally reduced our upload pain a lot, which is where our problems were arising in that buffer below test using this tool. So I'm gonna click optimize now. And as you guys can see, it's pretty much lowered our pain completely. So it's gonna let it do its thing. As you can see, Wi-Fi will drop while we optimize your ping. So I'm gonna let that do its thing. All right, so once you've done that, now I'm gonna open up a tab again, go to buffer below test, same website as I linked in the description. And once you've done that, click start test, and we're gonna see the differences right here. So as you guys can see, it's dropped our upload active latency to all the way down to a zero MS, which is amazing. Before it was like 175, which is terrible. So now we're at a B, but as you can see, the download is a little bit still up there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to ping optimizer, advanced, and then download under congestion control i'm gonna drop that down to around 95 percent and and see what i get now all right as you guys see we got an a on the buffer below grade which is pretty good as you see now we're getting under ideology conditions uh basically not everyone's gonna get the check mark right here so a lot of people worry about this check mark just ignore this unless you're on fiber this won't give you a check mark which i don't know why this literally just doesn't make any sense because you don't need a lot of bandwidth for gaming so as you guys can see for jitter drop to 17 points six on the download active and on upload which was where our problem was we dropped down to 2.9 ms which is insane so crazy difference right there just from optimizing our, our router settings and if we go around here we can see that i did have to drop the congestion control to around 50 percent to get a but that's fine i mean i'm only going to set congestion control to auto but i would only recommend using always on if you're running this test right here so if you do have this router or a net gear router or some net do my router set this to always on on congestion control mode just while you're testing this then once you're done and you got your settings dialed in set this to auto just so it applies whenever you're gaming and doesn't apply whenever you're downloading stuff because you don't want this to cap your internet speed whenever you're down but yeah as you guys can see that's a crazy difference right there look at cloudping.info again and let that do its thing so as you guys can see we got around 20 ms on dallas which is pretty normal practically around 10 ms lower give or take now this could be variation but either way jitter and your buffer bloat is going to make sure that your ping doesn't spike and doesn't feel terrible even though it's low so you want to focus on this stuff rather than the ping because the ping again is just your distance from the servers to your computer so you can't really change that you can try stuff like exit lag and we'll be covering this in a second so stuff like exit lag or changing your internet provider but yeah as you guys can see we've made it from a c to an a using just the network optimizations of updating our network adapter and optimizing our router in order to make sure that we're getting the lowest possible latency with our configuration. So that's just to show you guys that it, this stuff actually works and it does help a lot. So now whenever I hop in game, I'm not gonna get any of these pink spikes or stutters or weird things that rubber band me whenever I'm editing, shooting, or getting these blanks. So let's get right into basically what other stuff you could do to possibly lower your ping. So if you're just desperate to lower your ping and you don't really have much options i would try something like exit lag it's pretty good i'm not gonna lie it does do a lot for a lot of people now again it just depends on where you live your internet provider now if you have a good internet provider this usually doesn't really do anything just because your internet provider is already routing you to the server the best possible way exit lag if the internet provider is not routing you the best way it'll route you better so i would try out exit lag if you are interested they do have a free trial and again as i tell everyone if it works pay for it if it doesn't work don't pay for it as simple as that so i'll leave a link to it in a description xli is just one of these things where you sign up for it if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't a lot of these guys obsess over this program and try to find the best settings all this stuff guys there is no best settings they already optimize it out of the box just for you to launch your game and then get better performance if there is so the fact that you're going through all these loopholes you're just coping with the fact that you have bad ping which it's fine Fine but at a certain point you got to give it up now the other thing is moving or changing your internet provider so changing your internet provider can actually help a lot believe it or not some of these internet providers completely just destroy your ping so what i would recommend is stuff like verizon stuff that really is very low latency and has good fiber so i would test around with a couple of them you could obviously just pick and choose your network provider you could probably test around different ones it is a bit of a hassle but if you want the lowest possible ping 
I would just switch between network providers in your area and see which one gives you the lowest ping. And in some cases, it drops it all the way down by 20 ping. So it's a worth investment if you're a competitive gamer. If you're not, then again, this doesn't really make sense. Anyways, that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys seen a difference in your network performance. Hope you got lower jitter, better hit registration, and lower ping. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'll comment down if your question is worth answering. But that's going to be pretty much it from me. If you guys are interested in a full PC optimization service where we go through overclocking, BIOS settings, Windows optimizations, and all of that jazz, then go to the link in the description. It's going to be the first one, zilly.net. Peace.